G'day and welcome to another Let's Play series at Ducks Alley Gaming. Today we have for you Beaver Creek, the new map from Stevie, going by Farm Simulator Mods on Facebook. Uh, another wonderful map from Stevie. Um, I've I've made no, I've not made it any any more obvious that I I love Stevie's maps. I love his mods, um, and he's brought out a new uh, a new map for us. So um. Let's have a quick look at the PDA and we'll um, have a look at the uh, the layout of the land, so to speak. So there we go. We have a total of, what have we got, 23 fields, uh, all in a nice rectangular or square um, shape for this for this map, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It makes it a bit, uh, bit back to the norm. So it makes it easy for your AI or your course play or stuff like that. Um, it's not overly big, but it's not small either. It's uh, it's a great map. The farm layout is fantastic. I love the farm layout in this one. Um, and there's there's lots of grass. I mean, of course, I love the grass. So uh, yeah, all good. So this let's play series. We're going to run it with seasons. Um, we are going to run it on hard. I think we're on hard. I can't remember now actually. Hard or easy, whichever one it is, doesn't make much difference. Um, we are running with crop destruction on. Um, we are running with no cheats. Uh, what we have done is we've sold most equipment that Stevie started us out with. Now, before we go on, I will say I'm looking at doing another series on this one. I might just do a solo play where I use just the mods that Stevie gave us and run a true career mode on it. Um, the equipment that Stevie gives you to start out with is, is more than enough to get, to get going. But of course, we all have our own personal preferences and, uh, and I like to use my mods. Um, my preferred mods and also my ducks oily ones so what we did is we sold all the mods we didn't want all the uh, equipment that we didn't want that uh, stevie gave us and we added in an extra million dollars and then we bought the stuff that we wanted to use and uh and we've now been left with we're down to six hundred thousand, just shy thereof so that's where we're going to start all right so let's go around and have a look at the farm for a start well let's just back that off all right so this is the farmhouse obviously and uh, the farmhouse is just situated near a nice little bit of waterway, little creek that runs through. Lovely little bridge over here. Now, if you wanted to get a full um, map overview, um, I will recommend straight off the bat, go and see my good friend Farmer Klein. He's done a map review of uh, Beaver Creek and uh, covers it all in, in very good detail, as he always does. So go and check that out. Um, we'll be doing going through the whole map but not necessarily in this first episode as a, a map review or anything like that but anyway all right so let's go have a bit of a tour around the uh the farm and let's have a look and see what we've got so we've got our hay storage or hay cell point here same as what uh he's used on steve has used on uh Snedden and sherwood and all that sort of stuff we have a standard hay baler we have the pottinger mowers we have a little brant in the trailer which is going to be used for the um for the animals Heading over here, of course, the first thing you always see on, on any of my videos is uh, the illustrious Big M, the Duck Zorley Big M. Again, this is a, uh, a modded version of the original Big M for FS17 from GTX Mods, not the new 2017 one. And it was uh, lovingly crafted or modded for me by uh, Eustace Farmer. We have the Crone GTX 550GD. We have some of the new horse equipment. This is the new horse um, sprayer, uh, which is which is a lovely unit. Actually, I'm really enjoying that one, so that's good. We have a couple of uh, grimies there, one for potatoes, one for uh, beets. Over here, we have a couple of class, uh, I can't remember that, MT800s, something like that. Where are they? Uh, I can't remember. We'll have a look when we go through the shop. Have a quick look. Anyway, later on. Doesn't really matter. We have a couple of Axions, uh, Axion 900s from class. We have another horse here. This is the new horse auger wagon. Um, lovely, lovely model that one too. We have a couple of the big bud manure spreaders. So uh, go big or go home. So we've got those, a couple of those. We have a another piece from the horse kit or a couple of pieces here from the horse kit. This is the horse fertilizer spreader. We then have a sower, lovely sower that one, I, I like that one, it's quite good. We have a couple of uh, John Deere 25 metre ploughs. 
And then come into this uh, shed here. We've got the Duck Zoily Class 8 uh, 5000 Zerions. And we have the Duck Zoily Limited Edition Fent Tri 6 for the real heavy work. We have a Vermeer Rake for, the, for um, one of the Duck Zoily Big M's. Over here we have our buy points for our fertilizer, solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and our seeds. This shed here we have for our storage of um, diesel. When we manufacture our diesel, we can store our diesel there and also our buy point for diesel there. That's where we uh, can offload diesel. Um, again, this shed here has got for storage of seeds, fertilizer. So you can see these in here. Seeds, fertilizer, uh, what's that? Manure, silage, and liquid fertilizer, I believe. Our Seed Master 2017. So we produce seeds from that. Uh, we add, uh, what was it, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer and, um, and some grain, some grain crop. Our preferred combine of late is the Stevie Modified New Holland. Uh, it's the Caterpillar Livy, Liveried um, New Holland. And I uh, love that. Goes a slightly, slightly quicker speed than the standard New Holland. We have some of the AR mods. Uh, these are from GTX mods. GTX mods? Yeah, I think. Could be wrong. Um, but I think, pretty sure it's GTX. Could be Black Sheep modding. I've forgotten. Anyway, that's the service one. We have our, over here, we have our composter and our greenhouses. So, co located very close, which is fantastic. We have our Ducks Oily K100, our semi trailer or prime mover which was uh, kindly done for us by Rockhound Mods. And a shout out to Rockhound and his, his great work. Uh, he's also done the POW MIA K100, which I urge you all to go and have a look at. And it's a lovely uh, gesture of respect and tribute to those that have, um, have served, given the ultimates, paid the ultimate sacrifice for their countries, and also those that continue to serve. So uh, yeah, very good. All right. Over here in this shed, we have our conveyors where our pallets of output from the greenhouses come and they'll automatically be sold, hence the uh, the orange border around through there. Okay, so that's a very quick tour of the main farm. Now what we'll do is we'll um, go and grab our, oh actually there's some more equipment over here, we'll go over here quickly, well, as quickly as we can walk. Another Kenworth of ours there. Another class there with the horse planter. And then we have our Silverado. This is another one of Rockhound's mods. Okay. So that's it. So that's where we're at now. So what we've done, we've had already done a little bit of work um, in preparation for our fields. So um, the current state is we have ploughed and cultivated. Well, we have, do, yeah, we ploughed all these fields that are currently fertilized, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13. Um, 10 and 1 have been plowed. Three, 2, 3 and 4 need to be plowed. Uh, so we need to put some manure down and plow them. And we need to uh, get some fertilizer into these. So what we're going to be doing is waiting for the temperature to raise enough, the ground temperature to raise enough so we can start planting, which will probably take the next day or two. So in the meantime, we'll be uh, making sure we've got some some feed in for our animals. We have a small amount of animals to start with. 10 sheep, 10 pigs, and 10 cows. And the last thing I want to do, like I did with my Sherwood Park Farm 24 Day Challenge, is forget about feeding them the first three days and then they die off. So um, there's a couple of the guys, uh, Farmer Klein and, and Reefy1952, that won't let me forget that. So uh, we'll make sure that we get some food in there. Now in saying that, what we've also done is noting the fact that we're running a seasons game. Um, we have given ourselves a bit of crop uh, or stored crop to um, to start off with just to make sure we've got enough to sort of get us going. Um, so that's all we've done in the way of additional stuff. Okay, so let's go back to the map. So we've got all the standard stuff. We've got our BGA over here. Um, we've got our woodworking stuff up here. So we'll just go and have a quick look at the BGA. Is it over here? All right, where are we? So here we are. So this is the BGA. So stock, stock standard entry point there. Drop off. 
our uh, straw or grass or whatever we're going to use there turns it into uh, to the digestate collect the digestate from here we can then go and store oh sorry we have to go and produce the digestate or put the digest yeah. sorry put the digestate over here to the separator plant which from that will produce our fuel which is on the left hand side the orange tank you can see there the solid fertilizer in there and over here it'll also produce the liquid fertilizer in there okay so we drop the digestate in there and it goes and does its thing all right some uh, silage clamps over here we may or may not use those i don't tend to do silage this way too much i tend to use a, a fermenter silo but um, we'll see how we go all right so the same as the shed in the farm we've got temporary storage over here for our solid fertilizer liquid fertilizer and our fuel we also have a vehicle maintenance and customization point so that's the bga all right quickly head down to now i haven't spent a lot of time in here so i'm not sure of exactly what's going on where and when so bulk products and storage so this is obviously a cell point um, could also be storage again we'll find out more as we uh, go along and play the map um, I never said I was 100% uh, uh, knowledgeable of it all now not sure what we get out of this one or what we put into this one it must be storage again of some sort or sale anyway we'll find that one out all right um, what else we got just down here sorry, we sorry. So we've got fertilizer sales, what's this? So this is our fertilizer sales, so we can bring our liquid fertilizer down here for sale. Go around the front of the buildings. Egg sale point there. Uh, cattle yard up here. It's just back up to where we, close to where we were. So this is where we must buy our animals. Let me see, just to make sure. Pretty sure it's the same as what we had previously. Yep, so that's our buy point. No worries. Okay, what else we got? Um, fertilizer sales, milk sales are down here as well. Where's our milk sales? Ah, over here. Is it? There you go, milk sales in there. So we can deliver our milk there if we wish to, if we don't auto sell. Uh, going across the bottom. Jeeves Mills, that's the selling of grain. Jeeves Windrow, hmm. Selling of straw, obviously. Okay. Again, we'll have to have a look and see exactly what we can get in and out of here. All right, what else we got? Fuel sales, we've got the spinneries, that's where we sell our uh, wool. Compost bags. So this must be we're bringing compost down into here. Yep. Bring compost down here. It'll produce bags here and then sell them off, and uh, we make uh, money from that. We have a grain mill. So again, dropping off our grain. I would say it's actually just a sell point, which is fine. Let's have a look. Grain mill. Whoops. Grain mill. Yep. So we can just sell all our grain. As you can see there. So, yep. What else we got? A barn. So this is a barn we've got out. Whoops. Well, let's go down. A barn we've just got out in the middle of, or out to the, uh, the eastern side of a paddock. So that's obviously for selling of straw. Um, and bales so we can go in there and be selling stuff off instead of having to transfer it all the way back over the other side of the map so this one's over here east barn so instead of bringing it back in over here or here um, head up north what have we got here water manure and compost this is for our saplings to make saplings is it something like that I'm not sure I think that's what I said saplings uh, wood chipper 
And what else we got over here? Hmm. Not sure. We'll have to find out. Let's see what it says. Uh, so it produces pallet. So we've got to bring our logs in. Okay. No worries. That's action. Good. I still haven't, believe it or not, done any pallet production on any map as yet. Getting close to doing it um, on broad acres, uh, but yeah. So in here we've got uh, all our woodworking and that, I guess, log processing. So uh, what's this going to be? Wood out of there, well, I'm assuming, or well, planks for pallets. Dropping off uh, timber over here. Is it? Let's see what it says. Selling point for wood. Yep. So I can bring the logs in. So all this sort of stuff we'll try and get stuck into. We've, we've really got to start trying to get into this. We just uh, are so busy doing everything else. We don't really get around to it. Ben's joinery. So we've got three outputs there. And then we've got a shed over there. Again, that looks like it's a uh, storage shed for diesel. Has got anything for anything else? No, nope. so it's just got the diesel. So you've got a diesel storage and uh, refill point. And I've plopped down a manure buy point there. All right. And then we've got a flour mill. So that's pretty much it. Very quick, I know. Uh, not overly detailed, but that's basically what we're looking at for the map. All right. So if we head back over here, we'll... Uh, We'll start getting our animals prepped. What we will do is we'll put our time up a little bit. Initially, we're going to go on uh, 15 time scale um, just to get things moving. Now, what we'll do as well, have a look in here. You see, we're running a 12 day season length. Snow mode is on, snow tracks are on, crop, my crop moisture is on, uh, and we're in Celsius, obviously, because uh, we're Australian. We don't know about Fahrenheit. Well, we do, but we don't use it. Uh, economy will come to you later. So, yep, we've just got to wait now for our ground temperature to start getting to 5 degrees and we can start our planting off. Um, I've got to determine a plan of what I'm going to plant where, but that will come sooner, sooner or later. What we will do, though, quickly before I do that, is we'll just drive over here and check out the animals. So although this map looks a lot more simple than uh, some of Stevie's other maps, it's still, some of his attention to detail is still very, very good. So we have a silage clamp there, a sil uh, silage fermenter, which is normal. We have another couple of little sheds there. There's the uh, water trough and the grass trough for milk, for the cows, oh, sorry, for milk. Here's where we pick up our liquid slurry and our manure. That's from the cows, obviously. This is our drop point for feeding of the cows and also putting down the straw. Our milk point is over here at the rear of the, or the side of the building there. We have two feed mixers. We have the TMR feed mixer there, which takes the straw, silage and grass. And also we have the pig mixer there, which takes the corn, sunflower and potato. Now I did notice, I think what Farmer Klein was saying, well, I hadn't realized this, that um, Apparently that will take potatoes or silver beet, um, and the sunflower will take sunflower or canola. So I um, might check that out and just see. Didn't know that, so uh, that was very interesting. Thank you, uh, Farmer Klein. So over here we have the pig pen. Again, there's the, uh, the feed trough and the water trough. Similar to the cows, we have our liquid manure and our manure pit. Storage shed there. Then have the sheep. So again, the feed trough for the grass or the hay and the water trough. In here is where the um, uh, wool bales will come out. They'll automatically be sold, as you can see there, once it gets up to the orange uh, hazard indicator, effectively. Um, unless you take them off before that and then, uh, and then sell them manually yourself. So that's where all the action gets done for all the, um, for all the animals. So what we're going to do initially is we're going to grab our little brant nut and just give an initial load 
into our TMRs, TMR producer and our pig food production and, uh, and get them up and started and that's uh, probably what we'll get done for this episode. So I'd like to say um, a very big thank you to Stevie. Um, he, he does a fantastic job of all the mods he's put out and, and as I said in, in a previous episode of um, my um, Sherwood Park Farm 24 Day Seasons Challenge, um, he, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, he's, he's done a whole pile of mods and there was a whole pile of stuff I didn't even realise he'd done, like all the, um, all the combine harvesters, for instance. I knew he'd done some tractors and stuff like that. And, uh, and they are brilliant. And, and the combine harvesters, equally brilliant. And, uh, there's just so many of them that he's, that he's modded up. Only subtle changes in some of them, but some of them are really, really good. Um, He's, he's an exceptional modder. His attention to detail in his maps is fantastic. Um, and uh, and really, I know I've said a lot, but um, I, I really, really appreciate Stevie's work. And he's not the only one I appreciate, but um, since the first day I got onto, his first map I played was Pine Cove in Farming Simulator 17, because Farming Simulator 17 is the first farming game I've, I've played, or farming uh, genre game. Um, and and I've loved all of his uh, maps ever since. So Snedderton's Sherwood Park Farm, um, yeah, just love him. And uh, he does a fantastic job, and, and I'm really appreciative of the work he does. As I'm also appreciative of, of all the other modders as well, and and in particular the likes of Black Sheep Modding, um, Bullet Bill, Oxygen David, uh, all those sorts of guys. They they do a fantastic job, but. Um, yeah, I, I, particular thanks to Stevie. I, I really, personally, um, really, really get a lot of enjoyment out of playing with his mods and, and his maps. So, um, so thank you, Stevie, in, in all sincerity. It's excellent. Now, I'll be right back. I've just got to uh, deal with a whinging dog that wants to go outside, and then we'll continue on with getting these uh, these animals ready to go. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. All right, so we'll put the corn in for the pigs. All right, so now we just need to get some potatoes and uh, and the pig food will start producing and then we'll sort out the uh, the TMR mixer. Potatoes. So what we'll probably do is uh, in the next episode as well we'll probably continue to sort of feed those or, or fill those up to, to full. Um, we'll probably use a slightly bigger trailer and uh, and have them ready to go um, by the time the, uh, the, land, the the ground temperature increases so we actually start work. Um, we've also got to get the the tractors over there and get started in the um, pack. I've also got to get the manure over there and get that done so I must, I must do that. I might do that next um, next episode. We'll get those uh, couple of fields done. Now um, there was also something that was put out today by um, my great friend Eustace Farmer. Um, again, I make I make no secret of the fact that uh, I simply adore Eustace and and the work he does. And, and I must point out one of the, one of the things he said is he's he's taking a bit of time out um, after he's had a bit of time with hot, with family and all that sort of stuff to um, to read what he's doing and his post production all that sort of stuff, which is which is fine. Um, but uh, he was saying that he's, I don't know why we just got sugar beet, then I don't need sugar beet. Um, and he was saying about how he enjoyed doing it and he, he has a great community and all that, which he does. Um, but he was saying that uh, he needs to change some of his content and stuff like that. And while, while I sort of understand what he's, what he's saying and all that sort of stuff, I would just like to point out that um, publicly, that uh, 
I, I personally don't think Eustace needs to change anything, but um, obviously if he wishes to do so, that's that's his prerogative. But um, I, I'd just like to, to urge all of you to head over to, to Eustace's channel and, and just... Not so, it's not so much a call to support him, because he's already got a lot of support. I mean, but um, just to check out the, the quality content that he does produce. I mean... Um, yeah, he does. He does suffer from um, some chronic pain and stuff like that. So it does make it hard for him to sit in front of a computer for a long period of time and, and produce his content. But all that aside, the quality of what he does, while he does not put out a video every day like some YouTubers do, um, the, con the the quality of the content he puts out and and the quality of his production that he does do, like we're talking his intros, for instance. Um, they they are beyond reproach. They're just fantastic. And and honestly, mate, from me to you, I don't think you need to change anything because if it wasn't for you doing what you're doing, um, I wouldn't have got the bug for farming simulator, and I certainly wouldn't have got any interest at all in uh, trying to do this YouTube thing. Um, I'm doing it just for the hell of it. Um, I'm certainly not doing it to make any money because that that don't see that ever happening. Um, but I'm doing it just because of the fact that I saw how much you enjoyed it and I figured I would give it a go as well. So um, I sincerely thank you for all, all your time you've done. So whatever you decide to do in, in changing your channel, um, I will be there. And I think Doughboy actually said it actually in one of the comments. As soon as I get an alert saying that uh, Eustace Farmer has put up a video, um, unless there's no chance in how I'm able to get to it, I'm there within seconds because um, I so look forward to his content coming out. I have such a good laugh um, and I, I just thoroughly enjoy his content. I mean, probably the, probably the thing I've enjoyed most lately from him actually is his new intro where he's got his daughters singing his intro and stuff like that and uh, and got his lovely wife to, uh, to do a bit of voiceover as well. And, uh, and, and it's, it's truly lovely. It really is. So... Um, so you just, my friend, have a have a wonderful Thanksgiving break, and and whatever you decide to do, um, you'll still have a, a very big following, and and certainly I will be there following you, as I do with many of the boys from Three Dudes and, and PCSG and, and all that. But uh, I just wanted to mention that particularly today because I know you sort of said about um, sometimes you get down a bit and all that sort of stuff, and I can understand that. But but mate, truly, you make so many people happy in in. And you probably don't even realise it, and that's, uh, I just wanted to sort of highlight that, but, um, but anyway. Alright, I know he'll be telling me to shut up, so, uh, or he'll be threatening to send nude photos or something again. Alright, so, actually what we'll do is we'll get some straw while we're there, and do the cows. Alright. So while I'm speaking of uh, use, actually, um, don't forget to go over and check out the two great networks that I'm a part of, um, the Three Dudes Gaming Network. Uh, link is down below in the comments. Um, it is a great community, headed up by uh, my old mate Eustace and uh, another very good friend, Jerry, aka Grizzly Bear Sims. Um, both of them do some of the, the, the nicest and the best storylines you could possibly imagine. Um, and some great video content. And of course, far the other, other guy I mentioned just a while ago, Farmer Klein. Uh, he's one of the other three dudes as well. And um, and he does some fantastic content. I mean, his, for instance, his map reviews are, as far as I'm concerned, beyond uh, compare. He's, uh, he does a very good job of those as well. But, uh, but yeah, so you got three dudes. And then also the other the other group to go and have a, have a look at is uh, PCSG. Again, uh, the link is down below, information down below, and, uh, and go check them out and come join both communities. Both communities have uh, open multiplayer servers, and uh, a fair few of the boys get on there and, and do some streaming and all that sort of stuff. So if you're a member of, of either of the groups, you can get on there and, and, and join in some of the, uh, the fun and frivolity that's had, um, and, and be a part of some of the great guys that are actually doing some YouTube streaming. So, um, so get in there and have a bit of a look. Um, PCSG also has a download section where you can get a lot of Stevie's mods, for instance, Black Sheep Modding, 
LS Mod Company, GTX Mods, a lot of their mods are all hosted on um, PCSG where they've all been tested in, internally um, and, uh, and you, you, you're safe to know that there's no malware or, or, any, or viruses or anything else that are attached to it, so, um, so yeah. Alright, well, running out of time here today for this, uh, for this episode, um, so we'll just put this grass in here. I know we've got TMR and we've got some pig food in the uh, in the silo, but I just want to get this started. I always like to see the uh, the food mixer is is up and running. So now I've got some grass in here. This one will get going. Like the uh, pig one is going. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll leave it there. And we'll uh, we'll come back in the next episode very soon thereafter. In fact, we'll probably start recording it straight after this one. And uh, we'll continue on with this new Let's Play series on this wonderful map from Stevie, uh, Beaver Creek. And, uh, and I can tell you, we're looking forward to uh, getting into this one as well. But um, until, uh, until we come back to Beaver Creek, this is Duck Zoli, Duck Zoli Gaming. And I look forward to having you back here when we return. Until then, happy Thanksgiving to all my uh, American friends and all those that celebrate Thanksgiving. I know it's probably going to go up a bit late for Thanksgiving, but it was recorded on Thanksgiving Day. And, uh, and anyway, have a, have a wonderful time, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks very much. Bye.